it's a rock five, also known as Ecclesiasticus, verse seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world everything calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world everything calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai, meaning He is salvation. Bahashem, in the name, Rakah Kodash, Spirit Holy. The honors to the apostles and elders of great Muslim who teach on the world who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, fellow laborers, all prolect, pushing this truth of risk of their own lives for the four corners of the earth. To the Akwatim, listen and listen and learn in sincerity and the truth and in silence, Shalom. Akyam, meaning brothers, Akwatim, meaning sisters, Shalom, meaning peace be unto you. It's Brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp. And Toronto here with, here with another lesson. This is from End Time News, End Time Headlines, Salakia. says here, homeowners are skipping meals in order to make monthly payments, right? Babylon the Great, America the Great, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, is visiting um, people's comforts, people's securities. says here, the majority of U.S. residents earning less than $50,000 a year are struggling to afford their regular mortgage or rent payments, with some resorting to skipping meals just to make ends meet, according to a Redfin survey, a scripture just came to mind, right? And this has been, listen, this has been, this has been Jake's claim, Jake's claim to fame, right? Just getting by, right? Uh, Haggai, One. Haggai one and six. Haggai one and five. Now therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bashem El Shai of hosts, consider your ways. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag. With holes, right? And this has been the, this has always been the, the been uh, a way of life for Jake, just getting by, right? You drink, but you're not filled. He clothe you, but there's none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes, right? As soon as you get your check, that money's already allocated for, right? You have nothing left. You may have a major uh, car repair. You can't. You can't fix it because there's nothing left. Everything's gone on bills, right? We're reading an article here where the average American is skipping meals in order to make payments, and it's only going to continue to get worse. The survey commissioned by the real estate firm found that 74% of responders earning under fifty thousand dollars either sometimes regularly or greatly struggle with their housing costs. Around 25% of them have skipped meals to afford their monthly housing costs. According to the survey, skipping meals is one of the most commonly cited sacrifices among people in that in income bracket, right? And $50,000 under uh, $50,000 a year. I'm assuming dual income would put that at $100,000, right? People still can't you know, make ends meet. And then you have inflation. 
get that one in uh, Revelation 6. Measure of wheat for a penny, right? Have inflation uh, crippling people, right? And us in this truth, you know, beginning with the elder apostles on down, we live within our means, man. You know? But inflation is is, is uh, crippling uh, two-thirds of our people, these heathen nations. Revelation 6, points in 6, verse 5, says here, the third seal of famine, right? Oh, famine's coming to this place, man. People are going to starve because food insecurity is already touching people. It's going to continue to get worse. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. Right, black horse, bad times, famine, slavery. Right, the balances is judgment. Verse 6, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. Right, a measure of wheat, look at his word measure. It's a denarion. Koinix in the Greek, strong G, 5518. Right? Koinix. A koinix, a dry measure containing four kodilai or two satari. Less than one quart, one liter, or as much as would support a man of moderate appetite for a day. Right? So to put that in modern terms, a, a quart or a liter. Right? A quart of wheat. A liter of wheat, a, a, a coinix or certain dry measure, right? Salakia. Revelation 6 and 6, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four B say, a measure of wheat for a penny. And three measures of barley for a penny, and right, and the penny being a denarion, which was a a day's wage for a Roman soldier, right? A penny, denarion, Strong's G one two two zero in the Greek. Denarius containing 10, a Roman silver coin in New Testament time. It took its name from it being equal to 10 asses, a number after 217 BC increased to 16. It was the principal silver coin of the Roman Empire. From the parable of the laborers in the vineyard, it would seem that a denarius was then the ordinary pay for a day's wages, right? So what we're seeing, that, that, that that's inflation. Right? That's inflation. Revelation 6 and 6 once again. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. The oil and the wine is symbolic of the elect. Right? Scriptures say, My servants shall eat. Let's get that real quick. Right? When all hell breaking loose, A servant shall eat. It's in Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65 and 13. And it reads... Isaiah 65 and 12, and it reads, Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. And who's this talking about? Two thirds of our people. You're numbered to the sword, sword being a killing instrument. Because when I called, ye did not answer. And how's the Lord calling to, the, these, two, to, to these two thirds? This message going out is for the Israelites, but two thirds are going to resist this message. Two thirds are not going to hearken. Two thirds are, gonna, uh, are not going to repent. 
two thirds are going to continue being two thirds, right? Because when I called, he did not answer. When I speak, he did not hear. How's the Lord speaking? Via the mouths of the prophets. But did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not, right? They continue being wicked. They continue being brute beasts. Verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power. Behold, my servant shall eat a select, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed, right? So two-thirds of our people are going to suffer horrific deaths, whether it be by famine, FEMA camps. All right? Death by sword, teeth of wild beasts. Right, two thirds going to line up in the chipping stations, trying to hang on to Esau's ah, uh, ah, uh, Esau's world. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Right, it's going to get real bad out here, man. Right, it's going to get real bad. Back in this article, right, and this is just the beginning. Around 25% of them have skipped meals to afford their monthly housing costs. According to the survey, skipping meals is one of the most commonly cited sacrifices among people in that income bracket. Among that income cohort, 43% 43, 43 said they were eating at restaurants less often, and 36% were taking fewer vacations or nixing them all together. About 25% said they were borrowing money from friends or family to stay afloat. About 23% also admitted that they sold some of their belongings to afford their housing payments, and just more than 20% delayed or skipped medical treatments, according to the survey. Right? It's going to get worse. Right? This is just the tip. This is just the beginning. However, a majority of consumers across income groups have been hindered by surging rental and home sale prices over the last five years. Although wages have increased over that time, they haven't outpaced housing costs. According to Redfin data, U.S. rental costs have largely flattened over the past year, but are still up 20% compared with pre-emic times, right? And the emic, the serpent piss, was the beginning, right, of this slide, <laughs> right? Right, people, people are tight. People are financially are tapped out, right? Hundred thousand dollar households where two Edomites are in the home or two upper crust Jakes are in the home, right? And they can't, they can't, they can't make ends meet, right? Um, the opening scripture. What was it? Sirach. Five and seven, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, right? You Israelites, don't put it off. This word is out here, man. It's all over it's all over the internet. Right? This truth is out. Right? Repent. Repentance is returning to the Lord. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, right? We're starting to see the early stages of the Lord, the Lord visiting this place, man. Right during the time of the siege, Ezekiel four. Right, people had to eat their food and drink their water by measure. Ezekiel four and sixteen. Moreover, he saith unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread of Jews in Jerusalem, Jerusalem being a people before it's a place you so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro, and speckled bird, the staff of bread. The Lord's visiting. The Lord does the breaking. The Lord makes food scarce. Right? Puts the spirit on these farmers to, uh, puts the spirit on uh, on these farmers to uh, yield bad crops. Puts, puts, puts uh, quote-unquote so-called weather phenomena in effect. 
Let's get that real quick, real quick. It's in our second, second Ezra 15. Second is 15 and 13. They that till the ground shall mourn, you farmers, for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hail, right? So-called weather phenomena, right? That's the spirit of the Lord. The frost, hail, tsunamis, drought. That's all, that's all signed off on and sanctioned by the Lord. And with a fearful constellation. Let's go back into, um, we're in Ezekiel 4. And 16, moreover, he said unto me, son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in, in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, right? And this is going into this uh, Ezekiel prophesying the siege, right? right? But no new thing under the sun. America the great, Babylon the great. This is how she's going to be visited, right? People are going to have to ration their food. Right back in a uh, Sirach. Two. Sirach five. Let's close out. Nothing too long. Sirach five and seven. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right. And what is the day of the Lord's vengeance? Ultimately leading to those missiles. Right. By the time of Jacob's trouble, that's the day of the Lord's vengeance. Right. In thy security, right. What you're securing, your, your job, your, uh, your 401k, your retirement plan, your benefits, the ability to jump in your car and drive to the nearest Walgreens or, or Walmart or, or 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 department store and make your purchases. That's all security. The fact that you can travel freely and safely because there's there's a there's a uh, there's laws in place. There's a police. There's a police. There's a nine one one number. All that security. Right, these women out here, they're 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 they're, they're secure because they, they can walk around half naked, right, and be in their security because there's laws put in place to suppress uh, uh, anar anarchy behavior, a uh, Mad Max style uh, behavior. All that's coming when 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 uh, all hell breaks loose and martial laws instituted. And uh, people are wilding out and being brute beasts. Right? It's going to be bad for women and children out here. Right? But yeah, that's it on that. Nothing too long. I pray you're edified. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who teach one rule well. Shalom to the whole for elect.